Editing for me is the biggest vacuum of time in my life. It just sucks it up, it takes so long. I much prefer shooting, but sometimes I have to edit stuff myself. For bigger projects, there's a hired editor, but for my own stuff and for reviews, things like this, and smaller corporates, it's me who edits. The biggest edit project that I've ever done was my cinematic masterclass for MZ, which is nine and a half hours of 4K video from a huge amount of footage. And it took me uh, a good two, three months of editing to get all that done. A lot of the time was spent rendering and dealing with the processing of the footage. And my computer systems that I've been using have been Macs for a long time. Uh, laptops, MacBook Pros, I've had Mac Towers, uh, iMacs, still have iMac 5K, and my main edit system is the Trash Can um, Mac Pro, which is ooh, about four years old, is it? Three or four years old, basically when it came out. And without question, it's the most powerful edit system I have owned, but it does feel somewhat underwhelming, especially now. The ability to upgrade it is practically zero. You can put external graphics cards in housings and plug those in, but it just becomes a real mess. So when MSI asked me if I'd be interested in trying this, a PC, a Windows edit workstation designed for 4K video editing, yeah, absolutely, why not? I want to save time. I want to go outside and play in the sun, although it's the winter so there's not that much sun, or play video games and see friends and have a great time and not be stuck in an edit suite watching a progress bar slowly increase to 100%. Very open to trying something new, trying something that can give me a big chunk of my life back. Installing, installing, installing. This is how you're gonna spend your first few hours and certainly how I spent my first few hours with my new PC. So much to put on there. Yes, it already has the basic stuff, Windows, but I have to install all of my editing stuff. So Adobe Premiere, Media Encoder, uh, Photoshop, Lightroom as well for my photography. And then, of course, I realize there's a lot more to do than just that. There's all of my plugins. There's Film Convert, there's the Red Giant stuff, there's uh, Neat Video, there's Flickr Free. There's so many things that I'm sure I have missed them out. But finally, it was all done and it was time to get on and do my first edit. And I decided to actually start off with a nice, proper 4K edit shot with the Panasonic EVA1. And I've been putting off cutting this for a couple of weeks because I wanted to edit it on the new PC. So what was it like? How did it feel compared to the Mac? Well, it felt the same.
because whether you're editing Premiere on um, a Mac or a PC, I have everything set up the same, I have my windows the same, which is synced from the Creative Cloud, it feels the same. And that's great, the last thing you want when you need to do an edit is to learn an edit system. This is the same edit system, it's just on a new machine with a different operating system. And that made the transition very easily. I think the biggest difference that I found was the lack of ProRes. There is no ProRes on Windows machines. Apple haven't let anybody license it. So it is only on Mac machines. There is one flavor of it on there, and that is the animation codec, which is huge. You can't use the other ones. You can't export and render, but you can play back. So if you are using a camera which shoots ProRes, or you're using an external recorder that records in ProRes, you can totally edit those files. You just can't export in them. So you're gonna to have to use one of the DNX, uh, Avid DNX exports, or maybe the GoPro Cineform. Um, but if you need ProRes, you're gonna to have to take your export into an Apple machine and export it that way. The Adobe software works so well with the GTX 1080 graphics card. So I have the Mercury engine working, which I have not been able to use with my Macs. It uses OpenCL and it definitely is faster. Everything is faster. Stuff plays back that wouldn't play back normally. Everything about the machine seems faster. The actual editing part itself, where you're doing the cut and assembling, no, that's gonna be exactly the same. It's just when you need to put effects on and start rendering. The amount of time I spent waiting for that render bar to complete on that cinematic masterclass of nine and a half hours of 4K, I think it must have been probably about two months of the three month edit. It is painful. Of course, the most important thing for me to see was whether there is a speed increase when using Premiere from my Mac Pro to this new PC. So I did a number of tests comparing the render times on certain effects. Certainly for playing back clips that needed rendering, it definitely was smoother and I didn't keep having to reduce the resolution of the playback, which is what I tend to do on the map. I keep it, for the most part, at full. Sometimes with heavy effects, I did need to reduce it. So I took a clip, one minute long, from the Panasonic EVA1 in 4K, full DCI 4K, and put on Film Convert. Not the heaviest of effects, so it's something that can play back fine in full resolution generally. I rendered to the same GoPro Cineform codec and onto the same hard drive try and keep the parameters as close as possible. My next test was one of the heaviest plugins that I own, which is Neat Video uh, version 4 and it's noise reduction software. Something you have to use on high ISO footage and the footage that I was using it on, uh, again, EVA1, Panasonic, uh, 4K footage, and without question needed this noise reduction. It gives you the red bar, means you can't play it back. Interestingly, the PC did manage to play it back in a very stuttery way, which is way better than my Mac. Then my Mac just gets to that red bar and then just, it stops, it cannot play back at all. So rendering this effect on the 20 second clip on the Mac with neat video took about four and a half minutes. And that's pretty standard. Something I'm kind of got used to is the long wait for neat video. It takes forever. So on the PC, I took the same clip, but the same effect on, got the settings on the noise reduction as close as I could 
to try and match it as much as possible, get the same drive, same codec, and rendered it, and it was quicker. Much quicker. It took two minutes and 40 seconds. A massive time saving. Not quite two times as fast, but uh, pretty close. And this really impressed me. So I did this uh, a couple more times on both of the machines to see how it performed and try different clips. And again, it was the same. It was close to two times faster on the PC. So I've done a few edits now. I've done the 4K EVA1 edit from Richmond and St. Paul's, and that was a breeze. Lots of noise reduction from the video, and it, the time spent rendering it was so much less. And I've also done a 35 minute edit, which is my best of 2017 video, and it just sailed through that. It ate it up. 4K footage edited on a 1080 timeline. <laughs> it was an absolute breeze to edit truly painless and it's exactly what I was hoping would be the case. All in all, I'm exceedingly happy. I have a machine that can be upgraded when I need to, if I feel the performance isn't adequate anymore. But right now, it's fantastic. It's a massive speed improvement. As for the Windows part of it, I think it's just gonna take a bit of time for me to get used to this OS. But uh, I am just using the Adobe Suite in the end, so it doesn't really matter too much as long as I know how to do the basic stuff. And I think with a bit of patience and time, I will get to know Windows as well as I know Mac OS. And I'm looking forward to spending a lot less time in my edit suite.